Welcome to Opal STV. Today I'm in London together with Aman Oberoi, and we're actually right in the heart of London in Mayfair. Aman is a 30-year veteran in derivatives trading, and he has worked for some of the largest financial institutions globally. In 2016, he set up K2Q Capital, a boutique investment advisor running a systematic Japan strategy which aims to outperform, particularly during distressed markets. So, to start, Aman, tell us more about your fascinating background. My primary background is in global derivatives trading, and more specifically in equity volatility and credit derivatives, market making and structured products. After a career at Citibank, Bank Saal Oppenheim, and then Mizuo International PLC, I decided to start my own firm, K2Q Capital Limited, in London in 2016. Given my over 30 years of deep knowledge and understanding of the technical intricacies and the fundamental behavior of global equity, credits, rates, and foreign exchange markets, I decided that I wanted to utilize the now newly available quantitative techniques to analyze and trade these markets. K2Q is a London-based boutique systematic equity advisor under the Sturgeon Ventures platform. Over the last six years, we have worked hard to develop and perfect a series of quantitative trading models. During the last three years, we have advised assets utilizing these models and have developed a track record. So Aman, I also know that by profession, you're actually an electrical engineer. How did you end up to specialize in derivatives trading? I grew up in India. I have lived and worked in the US, Japan, Germany, and England. I have my undergraduate degree in electrical engineering and computer science from Duke University. I also have an MBA from Kenan Flagler Business School. It was during that time that I worked with Dr. Robert Whaley, who is the founder or creator of the VIX Index. I worked with him to develop and code American option pricing models. This introduced me to finance and derivatives and resulted in me ending up working in the quantitative research department at Citibank in New York. I soon moved to the derivatives trading desk and have been trading Japanese equity derivatives since 1989. During my 16 year stint at Citibank and Citigroup, I started and ran various equity and credit derivative businesses in New York, Tokyo, and London. I also started Citibank's Japanese equity derivatives in Tokyo in the mid 90s. It was at that time that I met Professor Okada who was the then the head of the equity arbitrage desk at UBS in Tokyo. Later, I was a member of the EM proprietary trading desk at Citigroup in London. This was my first exposure to the buy side and it was here that I realized that this was my sweet spot. From 2007 onwards, I was a managing director and ran Bank Saal Oppenheim's structured product business based in Frankfurt. This was an approximately Euro 30 billion business of listed securitized derivatives on the continental European exchanges. We were primarily market makers for these products. After that, I joined Mizuho International PLC in London, where I was a senior managing director, ran the special situations business and was also a member of the executive committee. So in your current setup, tell us more about the key people. I am the CEO and portfolio manager at K2Q. I work very closely with Professor Okada, who is the founder of Magnamax Capital Management in Japan. We have known each other since 1993 and worked together since about 2011. He approached me in 2011 when he was starting Magnamax to be one of the founding partners of Magnamax and also join the board of Magnamax Capital. Magnamax is now 
our exclusive research and development partner. We work very closely together and we have also signed a fee-sharing investment advisory agreement between the two firms. So Professor Okada is now joining us from Japan. Professor Okada, please tell us also more about your background. Thank you, Matthias. I'm Katsuhiko Okada, a tenured professor of finance at Kansai Gaku University in Japan. I'm also the CEO of Magnamax Capital Management and an investment committee member of Keitoku Capital. I'm a financial economist by training, but my focus of research is beyond traditional financial economics. I'm more interested in the interdisciplinary field of finance and computer science. In our firm, we collaborate with various academia to develop prototypes of investment models and then work closely with k Capital Management for improvement and implementation. Let me quickly go through how I came to do what I do at present. I started my career as a prop trader of Morgan Stanley, New York. Subsequently, as a head of UBS arbitrage team. I met Mr. Oberoi around this time. In 1996, I co-founded a hedge fund management, management firm called Halberdia Capital Singapore and started the offshore fund with 10 million US dollars. Mr. Oberoi was one of the first investors back then. Halberdia Fund grew steadily since inception and eventually became a billion dollar fund in 2005. Despite the financial success, my zeal for pursuing a path of academic research culminated around that time. So I sold my stake of the firm, got into a tenure track position of the university I work for at present. This career move in 20 years ago made me a unique player in the market. Because I speak the same language of the distinguished academia in computer science and finance, I can effectively use their expertise in my model development. So Aman, back to you. Can you tell us more about Magnamax research and how it is links into what you do? Professor Okada's research is based on human bounded rationality and its effect on asset pricing. For example, we know traders make decisions based on portfolio mandates, P&L constraints, risk limitations, perceptions, intuitions, and emotions. These are difficult to quantify, but can be proxied using big data. His theoretical background and my practical experience in managing large teams of derivative market makers has enabled us to combine our differing experiences to create a unique investment philosophy. And also, Aman, maybe explain to us your overall investment philosophy. Our philosophy has developed over the years. We believe and like to keep our process as simple as possible. Okay? We use micro data to predict macro behavior. Okay? We look to discover the out of the ordinary. We also wait patiently for market disequilibrium. It's how you process the data that matters. When we have strong conviction, we take big risk. At other times, we tend to keep no or low risk in our portfolios. We focus on positive skew and positive convexity trades. We also try not to take any tail risk. With an extended research team of six people, we do tons of research and seek to exploit this using a niche single market approach by constructing a relatively concentrated portfolio. So let's look a bit deeper at your Shin Samurai strategy. For example, what asset classes and instruments do you trade? We utilize statistical and mathematical techniques to generate alpha through market timing. 
our sub-strategy, the Nikkei Directional Managed Futures Strategy, is executed using Japanese Equity Index Futures. It is a statistical, systematic Japan macro strategy. It is composed of both trend following and mean reversion models. It focuses on signal generation using a micro technique. The way is to analyze all the single technicals of the single stocks on the TSC to determine the direction of the market in the medium term. This is analogous to weather prediction. We generate our signal using single stocks, but we capture our return using equity index futures. We trade on average twice a week, and we either go long or short the market. And Aman, what would you say is your overall investment objective? Our objective is to deliver superior risk-adjusted returns with capital preservation and low correlation to the market performance. Now Aman, investors always want to know what's special about your strategy. So how would you explain what's special about what you do? Our approach is highly capital efficient and can be levered three to four times to maximize capital efficiency. Okay? Even though we get a large part of our return from the equity markets, we are not highly correlated to equity markets because a large part of that return is captured on the short side. So over a period of time, our correlation to equity markets is well below 25%. We collaborate very closely with academia, i.e. computer science, mathematicians, and data scientists, both professors and researchers, some of the best in their fields to develop the foundation of our models. Okada-san and I, with over 50 years of combined trading experience, then apply these models to the real-world environment using a sophisticated risk management approach. The complementary sales sets of this larger team and the extensive experience of working together over 10 years has enabled us to accomplish this. And then finally, how would you say are you different from your competitors? We process publicly available data using our proprietary techniques to identify patterns not visible to others. In this respect, we have a differentiated strategy with a repeatable process. We generate our technical signals quantitatively, and we never trade against our signals. However, we do use fundamentals to filter our signals and determine what leverage they may have. We tend to take large amounts of risk for short periods of time rather than average amount of risk over a long period of time. And then of course, one last question. What would you say is the outlook for your strategy? In the current market environment of rising rates, global equity markets are not expected to perform anywhere as close to as they did in the last 10 years. This is a very attractive environment for our strategy. This current market environment of elevated realized volatility and economic and monetary unpredictability, right? our models is expected to outperform. So for example, in the first quarter of 2020 and the first quarter of 2022, global equity markets underperformed. Both the Nikkei and the NASDAQ were down by more than 3% in each of these quarters. It is in this environment that our strategy offsets this performance and tends to have a positive performance.